Yo, how's it going crew? Dinosaur here and welcome to another video. So this video we are going to be talking about what would you do if you were a JMod for the day? Now I'd like to see a lot of you guys comments in this so make sure you guys post a comment right now as to what would you do if you were a JMod for the day. You know, explain it however you want. I will be reading all the comments. And best comment, I'll give you, a, you know, 10 mil on RSO7. I'll inbox you on YouTube. So make sure you guys learn the inboxes for YouTube. There's videos out there. Um, I will be inboxing one of you guys with the best comment as to what would you do for a JMod. So I'll just say what I would do. And then I would like to see your guys' comments as well. So make sure you post that. Um, so let's get started. So if I was a JMod for the day, I would be thinking right now, what is making our players decrease? What do we need to add? And how do we gain more players other than the same people we're trying to gain? So this is what Jagex has. They have two different games now. They can do, they can bring a lot of people into this if they try. And uh, that's why they probably took the consideration as to giving RSO7 a try and uh, you know people really did join but uh, as you guys know it's dying quite a bit um, there's still people who play a lot of people actually 15,000 20,000 you know to me that's a lot of people that's 15k people okay a lot of people are like oh it's just 15,000 whoa that's 15,000 players there's still people on there but they're waiting for something big to happen so if I was Jagex for a day, I would be saying, hmm, was this the right server? Should we have made a vote? So what I would do as a JMod was make a server poll and say, what would you guys want for a server? You know, and see what year a lot of people enjoyed and what year a lot of people wanted, you know, and that gets to the point where the votes do count a lot of people are coming to the site and they would like to vote for that so runescape in general would probably make a lot of money just by people going onto the site and it would be a lot of people actually if they did have that poll because everyone be would be voting periodically so um, I, I really think if I was JMod for the day I would definitely have that up and ready and see how many people actually like it who would go to the home page and see hey I think I want this year I think I want that year all right, another thing that I would do if I was a JMod is just update quicker. I know the RSO7 servers isn't the main server, so they shouldn't be doing it. And either way, we didn't hit that vote marker for those updates. We're getting lucky that we even have most of these updates, even if they're going slow. You guys got to think about that. We didn't hit the vote marker. Remember uh, that we needed to for constant updates, but they still try to give it to us, which is a dedicated team, in my opinion just not as dedicated as you guys think um, but what would I do I would release this Kraken boss thingy right now it's been you know waiting and waiting the you know what I tell my friends all the time they you know get pissed off is don't wait till the last second to do something finish it right away you're gonna regret in life if you you know do something at the last second okay I've done shit at the last second I didn't do well okay I can tell you guys real life experiences that I've done that. I'm not going to say in this video if you would like to see that. Make sure you guys comment below. But uh, don't wait till the last second. Do it right away to keep the thing you want. To have a better outcome. The better outcome would be get more players. The players would come back. Okay. The Kraken. Okay. It's not what people wanting are wanting right now it's the wildy tags okay i understand that you know kraken boss i've seen a comment which is awesome uh i mentioned it on my rsps channel as well some guy commented and i really liked it 75 percent of the rso7 people don't pvm that is true that is true do you pvm right so if this kraken boss comes and you try it out are you going to keep doing it every day or are you just going to do it for one day that's right it's like a one day update it's like a one day try for you and you may be like, oh, I'm going to train my way and do that Kraken boss. Well, there you go. You got a week or two to actually enjoy that feeling. But then after that, what are you going to do? You know, and the game hasn't updated yet. So what are you going to do? See, they need to concentrate on that a lot more too. And what I would do if I was Jagex right now is have ads on TV, which they do. This is why I heard they do have ads on TV. But it's really not coming to the United States. I haven't seen one RuneScape ad. And uh, I do have a gaming channel uh, that I watch. And I've never seen a RuneScape ad. The only ads I've seen is World of Warcraft. Um, Minecraft. Actually, Minecraft. I've seen a Minecraft one. And, uh, you know, it's just like, okay, Jagex, if I were you, advertise 
the RS3. Don't add like they're not they're not gonna advertise RS07. You guys know that, okay? But they really need to advertise RS3 to gain more players, like the World of Warcraft people, those people. Okay, I'm not just thinking of increasing RS07. I'm I'm thinking about increasing the whole game. There's always ways that you can increase the whole game, guys. And one of the ways is advertisements, ads. You know, they could. It, okay, they have their YouTube channel and they do make updates and a lot of people see those updates They get a hundred thousands of views, you know And I even watch and a lot of people watch and they want to see what's coming to RuneScape And you know a lot of people share as to what they're playing, you know a lot of people are like Oh, what are you playing man? I'm playing League of Legends. Oh, I'm playing RuneScape and you can show them what it is Maybe they'll come and play too. You got to bring more people into this. Okay, there's no updates But Jagex will be influented Influented if that's even a world world whoa 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 too much runescape on my mind word then you do that okay once okay let's say this if you do a good job right and you get a cookie and you do that same job and you get a cookie again the next day but you don't want that cookie you want more it gets to the point where you need to add a little bit more so what you need to add is more players get more people get your friends to start playing the game the more people they see increase the more likely they're gonna keep on doing updates daily almost is because of that people marker uh, to jagex they've seen these numbers a lot so they want to increase their game as much as they can more than what they see if you see what i'm saying i know they have fifty thousand to a hundred thousand people who usually play a day still but there's, those are the numbers they usually see. They want to hit 400,000, 500,000. They need help for that. You guys can do it. Anyone can do it. You see the vote marker? How many people voted for RSO7? You can easily advertise it to your friends if you wanted to, if we did it like that. Period. You know, I'm not saying, and this just came from YouTube in general. You don't have to use YouTube. You can talk to any person you want, okay? You can go to school, and you have a good friend, and you're like, yo, I play this. This is maybe why I don't have the time for what I do. But if you go on Skype or something, man, we can chill, or you can come over to my place. We can play some Scape. I'll, you know, teach you everything there is about RuneScape if you don't know how. Like, there's always ways to bring players, and Jagex is not motivated yet to start these big updates because they're scared if people are going to come or not okay you, when you once you do a decision you have to stick with it and you can't just remove something of what they did just like you know EOC a lot of people didn't want it a lot of people liked it but either way they said this is a project they want to do and they have something in plan so they want to keep it update they want to keep updating but they got a lot of people want wanting the old combat system which I did too um, so they want to add that as well get more players okay they didn't want to decline the offer they knew how big this was but now it's getting to the point where RSO 7 is could die down like classic and hopefully it doesn't do that because classic literally has no one like a hundred people max not this year but like the two years ago like now they don't even have anyone I think it's like two three people who play and it's like the same two three people which is kind of crazy I might log in and just say, hey what are you guys doing man this is the best game ever anyway uh, do they even have classics though I have no clue uh, but uh, other than that uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a little bit longer than what I usually do but uh, other than that I would like to see your guys comments as to what would you do if you're a J mod for the day and other than that I'll see you guys next time peace